probe away. In research projects, Iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Probe away. Probe launched. In research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Probe away. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? 
Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. Then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Arya waiting. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morden Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting state at Afterlife that may have information on him. Shut it. Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be on a shepherd. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said <laughs> shut it. Tried to leave me on a chain of systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but... Your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Go ahead and get set up on the Normandy. Right. I'll go make myself at home. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their work for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. We'll get to it if we can. Our mission takes priority. I know you've got bigger fish to fry. That's why I'd like to get this other thing dealt with as soon as possible. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. What a pisshole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a sh in addition to normal decontamination. about to ruin. Uh, uh, I'm not looking for trouble. Maybe I am. Maybe you better get out of here before I find you some. All right, all right. I, I've got stuff to do anyway. Come on, let's get out of here.
Close enough. Stand still. Try it and you'll be scanning the inside of your colon. I'd almost pay to see that, but it's not an option. You want to talk, you get scanned. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship, that would matter. Here, we entertain my preferences. So, what can I do for you? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. I'm putting a team together. He's on my list. Interesting. You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. Just tell me how to find him. The local Merc groups are recruiting anyone with a gun to help them take down Archangel. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate, but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. I'm looking for Morden Solace. You know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Salarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. 
they give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer? Mind your own damn business. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. Commander Shepard? Is that you? You're dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you'd remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. And now you're on Omega. Once a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above. I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. And now you're on Omega. Oh, no, Commander. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker. Is that now. what you're calling it these days? That's what it's called when a person works for the betterment of the people around her. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. And if you skim a little off the top, no one's the wiser, right? Please, Commander, there's no angle. It doesn't take a saint to see that people here are hurting. I can play Omega's game and maybe do some good around here. That's the only angle. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. A human colony called Freedom's Progress has been attacked by unknown sources, mocking yet another in the chronicle. Say something, Commander. Mm. How much did I drink? One drink. That's all it takes. That racist, Batarian bastard. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new ship. He got real drunk, and an hour later, he was puking blood. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. I think I'll give that bartender a taste of his own... He won't be expecting you. That's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves.
I heard you were dead. I had a party and everything. <laughs> no hard feelings, though, huh? No, really. Thanks for taking the time to chase a small-time crook off the Citadel so I could squat in this shithole for years. Whoever you are, stop being... ...but about five minutes after I apparently told you to run. Hey, yeah, that's great. Fuck you, too. Ruin a guy's life. The least you could do is remember. Goddamn saviors of the galaxy. Messing with a man's living. I got the message last time. I work at a shipping dock, all right? Leave me alone. So I get friendly with the whores in my off hours. So what? That's all I got left of the old days. Thanks. I'm a good boy now, so piss off. Centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Ari arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. 
Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are ours now. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. I should be going. or you don't want to. Does it really matter? No. Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? Trust you. Tell Gavorn we know his tricks. We will not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of on Omega. <sighs> Go away. Talk too much. Born stocks get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gavorn's tricks. We leave. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. No one in their right mind would pay these prices for salvaged parts. I know. That's crippling my sales. Drop your prices and I'll consider buying. Otherwise, I'll keep walking. You're right. I'll give you whatever you like for the original price. And if this gets back to Harrod, I'll deal with it then. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Harrod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. You might snare a few tourists at these prices, but I'm not giving you a single credit. Sure, you can find things cheaper, if you're willing to risk the black market. Well, you and I could do business if you'd just charge what this crap is worth. Fine. I'll give you the uppity human discount. And that's all you're getting. You're back. You must have seen something you like. The Shepherd 
scholarship has gone into effect, targeting low-income children on Earth, where the most famous human in the galaxy allegedly had a difficult childhood. The scholarships have allowed several dozen young men and women to leave gangs and join the military or enroll in school. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I understand you have an arrangement with the quarrying over there. Suspicious? Of course. A businessman must enter certain agreements in order to stay in business. Accusatory, I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine... Take a look at my kiosk if you want to mind. Witnesses report seeing her alive on Omega. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. I understand you Sus are accusator. I don't understand if how. If you're worried it is. about competition, why not just buy out his store? Ind. I had not considered that before. My fellow merchants on Omega are not known for being easy to shut down. A weak, homesick kid like that shouldn't be a problem for a man like you. Devilishly excited, I have plans to expand. On your advice, I will conquer the Quarian Child. Grateful to thank you for your counsel. I offer you a discount at all of my stores. What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds, mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. One purpose, to connect lonely clients with a lifelong commitment to their perfect mates. Choose from among hundreds of potential relationships ranging from the demure to the deranged, the kind to the kinky. With Catanos relationships, your vision of what your love should be. An independent inquiry has dismissed claims by one Corporal Tombs about a shadowy organization known as Cerberus. A disturbed Tombs says Cerberus held him prisoner for years, but investigators found insufficient evidence to validate his story. Two years after a Geth attack nearly destroyed it, the colony of Zoo's Hope has announced plans
tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not... Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern I have of things you. to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? I understand you have an arrangement with the Quarian over there. Suspicious? Of course. A businessman must enter certain agreements in accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. What if you and I make a deal? You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained terror, you drive a hard human. I haven't even started. Resignation? Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory? To show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. in no time. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Here you go. 1,000 credits. Get out of here. Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. cast off the lesser, the Krogan, the Vorja, and the humans. And so they dwelled in filth, on worlds made of dirt and feces. And there they lay until they stumbled into the skies. The lesser races will be our downfall. The word is clear. Let none in my sight continue to live, lest their impurity displease me. The word is clear on this, friends. Humans are the hands of the Reapers, here to commit the galaxy to ruin! You're crazy. Be gone! I cast you out into the cold black. I name you unclean. Bring unto me the children, that I may watch them grow to soldiers for the cause. The way is clear, my friends. Draw your weapons for the word. Or face its terrible wrath! Defend their own colonies. 
The end time will come, not with a bang, but with a sigh. Dip their extremities in the well of sin, and vice must repent of fire, oil, and gun. Let not fleshly friendships and, and base urges compel us to sin and neglect. The word makes its demands, and it demands obedience. And on this great station, there shall be rejected, and the lesser races given their places in heaven. And this shall be the beginning of the end. The end times are upon us. Repent and restore your souls to glory. Humans are a blight on galactic fury. You, sir, you are a blight. You. Complaining is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. I'll talk to you later. End. End is now. Captain Gavorn, head of the Vorchet Task Force. Got something to report? What's your job here exactly? Keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. I'll just be going. Keep moving. Come on, let me in. <laughs>